there welcome to storybook crochet in today's video we are going to be making these really quick and easy cat pumpkins these are perfect for halloween and you can do these in any colors i like the kind of neon look that i've got going on here for today's i'm going to be making an orange pumpkin with green accents so you'll need two different colors i will put up a list of materials that you are going to need for this project so let's grab those supplies and we'll get started To start your pumpkin, you're going to want to go ahead and make a slip knot, attach your hook, and then after that, you're going to want to chain 27. All right, once your chain is made, we're going to start by making half double crochets across. So for row one here, you're going to start in that second chain from your hook. So you'll skip this one. We're going to work into that second chain there. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain, and then you're going to pull your yarn through. You'll have three loops on your hook there. You'll yarn over and pull through all three, making your first half double crochet. So you're just going to repeat that across one half double crochet in every stitch across, and this will give you a total of 26 half double crochets. All right, now that you have your first row done, at the end of each row, you're just going to chain one, and then you're just gonna turn your piece over, and that will start your next row. So we're gonna do basically the same thing we just did, except for every row from here on out, we're going to be working in the back loop only. So to do this, normally you'd go directly under both loops there, but instead we're going to go in between the two loops. So each stitch makes a little V here. You're gonna insert your hook in between those and you'll only have that back loop on your hook. Okay, so you're going to make your half double crochet in that back loop only and you're just gonna repeat that across. So half double crochet, back loop only. So repeat that across until you get to the end of row two. All right, so that's what that should look like at the end of row number two. So you can see that these front loops that we did not work in leave kind of a little ridge there. So we're going to just repeat row number two until we have 32 rounds. So make sure you chain one at the end of each round, and then you're just gonna simply half double crochet in the back loops only until you have a total of 32 rows made. So go ahead and complete your rectangle here until you have your 32 rows made, and we'll meet back and I will show you how to assemble your pumpkin. All right, so this is what your piece should look like now that you have your 32 rows made. So the next thing we're gonna do is slip stitch the ends together to make kind of like a cylinder. All right, so to do this, we're gonna chain one at the end of our last row here. And then when we do that, we're gonna put the two ends together so they match up. And then we're going to slip stitch across. So you're going to go ahead and insert your hook into that first stitch there on the same side you've been working and then insert it into the first stitch on the other side. Yarn over and pull your, your yarn through and then pull it through the loop. So we made our slip stitch. And you're gonna do that in each stitch across. So slip stitch matching up your stitches from each for each side. All right, so this is what it should look like with that slip stitch together. After that, you're gonna wanna cut a very long tail as we're gonna use this to cinch the top and the bottom closed. So go ahead and finish that off with that long tail. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and add the face details. All right, so the very first thing that we wanna do is turn this right side out. So right now we have this seam sticking out. So we're just gonna flip that over to the inside. And then we have a nicer look to our seam there. 
So we're gonna also, at this time, go ahead and just weave in that short end of that short tail that you have from the very beginning of your piece. All right, and then just snip that off. Okay. So I keep my tail, my long tail towards the back and then just go ahead and flatten your piece out like this and then we'll add the face details. So let's start with the eyes and I just put them directly in the middle of the piece, just a few rows apart. So go ahead and find where you want your placement to be for each eye. Okay, that's a little low, so one more up. All right, so once you have those where you want them, go ahead and attach the backs. Okay, so next we're gonna add our nose. And if you don't have a safety nose, you can always just sew on the nose with either black or a pink would work too. So you're gonna come down a little bit lower than the eyes and directly in between them. I'm gonna come down one more here. All right, so once you have that placed, go ahead and add on your back to that. All right, so now I'm going to use my small length of, length of white that I have here, and I'm gonna make some highlights for the eyes. So you can see in this pumpkin, you just kind of line the sides a little bit. It just adds a little bit more character to the face there. Okay, so I just come up inside the pumpkin piece here, directly underneath one eye. Leave a little bit of a tail here. We're gonna use that to tie it off. And then I don't come all the way to the top, but just kind of to the side here. And make your first highlight like that. And then you'll just do the exact same thing with the second eye. And there we go. So once you have that, all you have to do is go inside your pumpkin here and you'll just take the two ends and tie them together. Just make sure you don't tie them too tight because it'll actually cinch your piece together and we, you don't want that. So tie those off and then you'll just cut that, the long ends off of that. And then the last step here for the face, you're gonna grab your contrasting color. For me, that's gonna be green. And we're going to sew on the whiskers here. And just like we did with the white here, you're going to come up kind of under the eye here, right where the eye starts on this side, and then pull up your yarn and then you'll come you'll make a straight line for this first whisker to the other side of the eye. All right? And then I come down one row here for the second whisker. And then I kind of do the second one at a diagonal here. So I'll come down one, two, three more rows here to make the second one. And then you'll just repeat that for the second eye just making sure you're, that they're straight across from each other. All right, and there you have it. So go ahead and tie those off and that finishes off the face. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close one of the openings first. So go ahead and grab your needle. And again, you've got a really long length of yarn here. So we're just going to cinch this together. So what you're gonna do is you're going to insert your hook going in and then have it uh, insert it to the next stitch coming out. And then you're just gonna repeat that in and out, in and out. And then when you pull that through, you're gonna pull tight. 
All right, and then that cinches that together and you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. In and out and then pull tight. Once you get to the end, I'll show you how to finish off that um, part so it closes all the way. All right, once you've made it all the way back around, you're gonna have a little bit of a gap here still. Just go ahead and pull that tight. And then to finish that off, you're just kinda gonna go across and make like a T with your stitches from one side to the other. So go across that first spot there and then come across the opposite way. And this is gonna just kinda pull that closed for you. All right, and that should close that opening. And you might have to do it a couple more times until you're satisfied with that. Now this, if you're at the top of your pumpkin, we are gonna be covering that. So if there's a little bit of a gap left, that's still okay. Okay, so now we need to get our yarn to the other side so we can do the same thing. So you're going to just, if you have a long length of yarn, just come through your stitches. Just weave it through to the very bottom. If you don't have a long enough length of yarn, you might have to finish that off, weave that in, and then cut a new length of yarn, and you'll attach that to the bottom. So just keep working your way down until you get to the very bottom edge of your pumpkin here. All right, so before we close the bottom, we're gonna need to stuff it, and you're not gonna stuff it all the way yet. You're just gonna um, do about halfway and fill it out the bottom part or the top, depending on how you did it really well. And then we're going to go ahead and close the opening. And before we close it all the way, we'll add more stuffing to that. All right, so you're gonna repeat exactly what you did for the top or bottom, wherever you started. You're just gonna weave in and out and then cinch that closed and then completely close the opening by putting a few stitches at the very end. So go ahead and finish that up and close that opening all the way. And then I'm gonna show you how to use your yarn to create the indents of the pumpkin. So if you still have a long length of yarn, don't cut it off. If you don't, go ahead and cut another length of yarn and I'll show you how to um, attach that. Also, don't forget to add more fiber fill before you completely close. So you want to make sure you have enough in there. You don't want to completely overstuff it. It's okay if it looks a little bit lumpy because it's pumpkin. So go ahead and finish, uh, before you finish that off, make sure you add more stuffing to your pumpkin. All right, now that you have the bottom closed, we're going to go ahead and make our indents. So to do this, you're going to insert your hook into the very center of your bottom here, and you're going to push it through all the way to the very center top, and then pull that yarn through. Okay, and then you're just gonna come down where you want your first indent to be, and then you're gonna insert it back into the bottom center and back up the top. Okay, and when you do that, make sure your placement is right where you want it to be then you're just going to pull tight and that makes that first indent and then you're just going to repeat that process as many indents as you want so up through the bottom out through the top and then pull tight once you're finished making your indents just go ahead and weave in that tail and then that part of our pumpkin is finished all right, so that's the main part of the pumpkin done. So next we're gonna go ahead and make the stem and you're gonna use the same color of yarn that you made your whiskers. So for me, that's gonna be green. So to start our stem, we're gonna start out by making a magic ring. And then you'll chain one. And in your magic ring, you're going to make six single crochets. All right, once you have those six made, go ahead and pull on that tail to close that opening. So moving on to round two, we're going to increase in each stitch around. So two single crochets in each of those stitches, and that will give you a total of 12 single crochets made.
All right, so once you come to the end of round two, this is what it should look like. So for round three, we're gonna work in the back loop only, just like we did on our pumpkin. You're just gonna go under that back loop and you're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around. Just make sure it's in the back loop only all the way around. Okay, once you get that done, you're just going to kind of pop the top up there. And that leaves that little ridge at the top with the front loops left unworked. All right, so now for the next few rounds, rounds four through seven, you're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So you'll have a total of 12 single crochets for each round. So go ahead and complete that through round seven, and I'll show you how to sew it onto your pumpkin. Alright, once you have that stem made, you're just going to slip stitch into that very next stitch there and cut a little bit of length so we can sew that on directly onto the head. Finish that off and then you'll just grab a little bit of fiber fill and go ahead and get that stuffed. Alright, now that we have the stem made, you're just going to place that directly in the center of the top and then you're just going to sew around, so grab a stitch on the pumpkin and then come up through the next stitch on the stem. Pull that through and you're just going to repeat that all the way around through every stitch to attach your stem here. When you get to the end, make sure you just weave that in and snip that tail off and then the stem is attached. So after this, we'll be making the ears and you're going to want to use the same color as your pumpkin. So for me, I'll grab my orange to make those two. All right, so that's what our pumpkin looks like with our stem attached. So now we're gonna make the two ears and get those sewn on and then your pumpkin will be finished. All right, so grab your color that you used for your pumpkin and we're gonna start off again by making a magic ring and then chain one. And then in this magic ring, we're gonna make four single crochets. All right, once you have those four made, go ahead and pull that closed. So for round two, we're gonna start out by making one single crochet in the first stitch. And then we're gonna increase in the second stitch. So put your two single crochets in that second stitch. And then you'll just repeat that one more time. So one single crochet and then increase. And that gives us a total of six single crochets made. So at this point, you'll want to poke up the tip of that ear. And that starts the shape of the ear that we're wanting. So for row number round number three, sorry, we're going to make two single crochets. So one in the first one, one in the second stitch, and then you'll increase in that third stitch. And then again, you'll repeat that one more time. So one single crochet, one single crochet, and increase. Okay, so we have our first three rows done there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this tail off here so it's out of my way. All right, so for round four, we're going to do three single crochets and then increase. So one, two, three, and then increase in that fourth stitch. And then do that one more time. Three single crochets and increase. All right, for our next round, we're going to do four single crochets and increase. And then again, repeat that one more time. Four single crochets and increase.
All right, so we have two more rounds and we're just gonna keep repeating that pattern. So for the next round, we're gonna do five single crochets and increase. All right, and for our very last round, we're going to do six single crochets and increase. All right, so once you have that finished, you're just gonna slip stitch into that very next stitch there and cut a little bit longer of a tail so we can sew that on. And then you'll just flatten that out for when we're ready to sew it on, but go ahead and make your second ear and then I'll show you how to, do, to attach those. All right, now we have both ears finished. Let's go ahead and get these attached to our pumpkin. So I just come down on the side here, a few uh, rows down and find my placement. And just like the stem, you're just gonna come up through one stitch on the pumpkin and one stitch on the ear. And you're gonna wanna make sure you work around all the way around on both sides of the ear to get it good and attached. So once you're done attaching your ear, make sure you weave in those ends and then sew on your second one. All right, so our cat pumpkin is now finished. If you enjoyed this pattern, let me know and let me know what colors that you made your pumpkin. I'd love to hear about that. Um, I thank you for so much for supporting my channel and my small business and watching with me and creating with me. I do pr truly appreciate your guys' support in that. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you see my new videos coming out. Uh, next week I have a tiny little pumpkin pie that we're gonna make. So you don't want to miss that. Hit that bell notification and that will tell you as soon as that video is available. So as always, thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Won't you take me